So y'all, I was um, I'm gonna take this off because Babe went to go get his medication. But um, I was um, the last I think the last um part of the video was me doing some laundry. Um, and I was about to do another uh part of my my video, and I just got winded like really bad, and so. <clears throat> he was standing there and he was like, babe, are you okay? Are you sweating hard and stuff like that. Now, I'm not saying anyway that I'm over my COVID-19 um, issue, the virus. Um, but I'm saying is that you know your body. Your body's not like mine. I'm not trying to push my body. Um, but I am trying to, in <laughs> some form of way, get back to work. And I know that I can't go back to work um, if I still have COVID-19 uh, and my test come back positive. So I'm praying for a huge uh, miracle, miracle um, that it'll come back uh, negative. I've been manifesting and just overall in my health um, and just praying for myself. Um, and um, by the time you get these videos, I probably will be COVID free. Um, not knowing really what's, what the test is going to say, um, but, um, we're praying that it says that it's negative and I can go ahead and go about my, my life and try to push this aside. Now, I'm going to tell you guys this and I'm scared to say this, but, and I've never felt this way about any person or any being out there. Um, I'm really scared of people. I'm scared of anything. Like, I don't know how, like, how I became to feel this way. I think that because I've gotten COVID-19 that I just look at a lot of stuff more differently. And so, um, I'm just going to have to rework my schedule to where I'm not working around a lot of people. And then um, also if I'm going out to go shop, I'll go early in the morning. Because my mom, she has, um, she can do like senior, um, they have like an early morning senior thing at Kroger's grocery store. So I can go and shop in peace because most of the time they just open it to the seniors and let them get the, what they got to get into a certain time. And so um, I'll just run in, grab what I need to grab and then run out. Um, but um, I just look at life way more differently now um, than before because I think we were all so, so ready to get out there and leave our masks behind and, and whatever else we had, had to protect us from COVID-19. And they, you know, open, open us back up, open the world back up. And, you know, we were very excited. Um, but still, I still was wearing my mask. I still keep my son um, wearing his mask. And you know, everybody's different. Like I say, everybody's different. Everybody's gonna have their own like you know opinion about like the vaccinations and people that don't want to get vaccinated and stuff like that. I'm not here to judge anybody, and I'm not here to you know be like I. How did I get this? And I wear my mask. I I lights off. It doesn't matter what you do at this point. In some point of your life, or some part of your life, um, the clothes have stopped. Um, some uh, part of your life, you're gonna have to get COVID. We're all gonna get it, and so you just have to prep for it. And I would say, <clears throat> educate yourself on COVID nineteen, the symptoms, the the ups and downs, and um, if you have a family member that had it, ask them questions. If they get tired of you, ask them questions. Go to somebody else and ask them questions. Because, like I say, it's different for everybody's body. Um, I'm thankful to God for allowing me to, I think I said this in one of my other videos, allowing me to have the mild COVID to where I wasn't, um, they wanted to uh, incubate, let me not incubate me like a baby. <laughs> they, 
they wanted to um, isolate me in a hospital room like by myself and I wouldn't be able to see my family so I'm just thankful that I was able to fight against that and be able to say no no I, I definitely think I, I can I'll manage at home you know and I was un I was honestly blessed to have a boyfriend here he took off like he took off his job He's sick now. Um, he's got a abscess on his like in his mouth somewhere, and it's draining. So he's having a hard time, and you know it's just the season. Um, you know sometimes, um, and I'm not gonna say God sit you down, but if you are in order, let's say if you're a mom like me, and you you're used to being a single mom, and you're doing everything um, as far as making money and trying to provide for your child. Um, and I know that my boyfriend, he has my son's back 100%. Like, my son need anything, you know, and that's like, like, honestly, that's like what, I don't know, like, he stole my heart. Like, you know what I mean? So, let's not get good she a little bit up in here, but um, it's just to have a man. Um, by your side taking care of another man's child that should show you mothers out there that may have someone like that that this person is serious this person is you know this person cares about you more than you more than you know that this person cares about you it took me a while to let him be in my son's life by any means um, but he this man has been here like he literally took off work he's been off work for about a week and he's about to get ready to get ready to go back to work um, and hopefully even my fingers crossed I get to go back on Saturday to work and as much as I don't want to like as much as I feel like I'm scared of people like as I feel like I miss everybody like I miss like people in my job they miss me like you know and it's gonna be funny um, because I haven't been there like in a week and a half, almost two weeks. And so, um, yeah, I just, you know, it's, it, it takes time. Like people think like, like I always thought this about people that, you know, had gotten COVID virus, that it takes time. Like you can't just rush, you can't just jump in, you know, jump on the horse and ride into the sunset. You know, you have to take precaution and, and different, um, measures um, now that you've had it um, you have to be careful because you can like your whole system is reopened and so your system has to shut back down like close back down and then you know it get back to its norm you know so um, I'm definitely going to be wearing two I'm doubling up I'm doubling up because <laughs> we don't want to see me here no more <laughs> I don't want to see myself here either um, but <clears throat> I do want to see myself better um, and I just I'm with this time I've had time to think about YouTube and and vlogging and putting out daily vlogs you guys because I, I just it's a whole nother level when it came to my like my business and stuff like that I have to put that on hold because there's nobody but me and my my family, but I don't lean on them, you know, um, my boyfriend sit here for me, um, he'll help me, if I had a, got an order, and an order needs to be put out, but my business wasn't in that area, you know, it wasn't um, getting deep, you know, um, but when the time comes, um, and I'm not going to worry about it, but when the time comes, I will relaunch my business, and but until then, I'll continue to post stuff on Insta, and I don't feel like I need to make an apology for my business. Um, sometimes things just happen the way that it happens. Um, it just wasn't time, and plus, look what happened. I got COVID-19, so there was no way that I can launch my business, get my business together, and ship out stuff, and it was going to be a hassle on me, and yeah, so... You have to be you have to be careful about like your business and stuff like that. But you guys, I just I feel good talking to you. 
And like I said, I've been thinking about this daily vlogging thing because I feel like I have a lot to share. And I haven't been sharing a lot of things. And if it's just me picking up the, the camera just saying, you know, how my day went, sitting down talking to you guys. Like, I feel good doing this. It feels really good just to sit down and be able to have a conversation with my peoples, you know, my fam. And so, um, yeah. So, anyways, you guys, um, I'm probably going to pick up the camera again. I got to, you guys saw all that. Oh, I know you guys saw. I know you guys saw all these, like, everything, like, yeah, literally, my boyfriend brought all that stuff from upstairs. I I didn't even agree to wash anything. I agreed to wash the uh, couch stuff. And I will be getting a new couch, but I'm not sure when I'm going to be getting a, a couch. But this couch, I've been having this couch for almost a year and a half. And it's, it's about that time. And I think my next couch will be another sectional, but more bigger and more comfortable. This one... Um, of course it was comfortable when I got it, um, but as time and different, different asses that sit on it, <laughs> um, like friends and family, of course, and boyfriend, um, and laying on it, you know, I laid on this a whole, almost a week and a half, and so, um, yeah. It's time for it's time for a change. It's time for something different. It's time for, you know, um, y'all. I'm talking too much. I'm rambling. I have a lot of stuff that I need to talk to you guys about. As far as my apartment, you guys already know I don't have a heart for my apartment. I just like my apartment, and it doesn't bring me any joy. It doesn't like I know things are going up in this world. I know. Everything is going up from apartments to food to gas prices to just everyday living, clothes, ev everything is going up. And I just wish that the government would give us a break, you know, like give us all a break. Like here we are struggling and fighting. Like we got some people on here that, you know, I know like um, a couple of the big YouTubers are struggling, like, and they're making. Big cool, boo cool money, and I was looking at one of the, one. I'm not gonna mention her name, but I was looking at her, and she was like, you know, I get paid once a month from YouTube, and and she said it's not even enough to cover my mortgage, you know. So she had to take on a job, and so when you're a YouTuber and you're you you can't make enough money to pay your mortgage. It's getting bad. Like, I don't even get paid from YouTube. I do this because I love y'all. You know what I mean? And, yes, I would love to get paid from YouTube, but I know I'm not consistent. And that's what this journey is about. This journey is about being consistent. So, I'm going to be throwing out videos, like, videos. And I've been saying that and don't do it. And I'm telling y'all, like, this COVID-19 stuff make you lay down, make you think. And so... I'm just really excited for what's to come, you guys. I'm really excited. But if you guys made it this far, keep watching because I still got some more laundry to do. Um, and I was actually over here on this side right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. How can you zoom this thing in? Okay. So I was doing redoing the shelf over. This is, I'm going to use this bottom shelf just for like little odds and ends. In the house and then this is going to be for pictures i'm going to probably eventually put more pictures or get some different picture frames and put it in there um and then i got this i'm going to scoop those out but then i need to put um maybe a um white poster board like i'm gonna cut it or some wrapping paper or something and just cut it a square and put it right there because when i open the o and the m in home there's a hole I don't know if you guys can see that little light there's a hole right there so I want to cover that up and um yeah I just yeah I got the grill in here because <laughs> oh this is a weird story <laughs> you guys I've got have time because <clears throat> I got nothing but time and this is weird okay so um the people 
So you guys, we're back. Uh, well, I'm back, <clears throat> and I definitely put some more clothes on. <laughs> this is the next day, you guys, because I didn't really. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. All right, the turning around. Just have a green uh, tube top thing on, and then my. Bermuda Caprice boyfriend Bermuda Caprice so I got the couch stuff out I'm gonna put like one or two <coughs> dry sheet in there <coughs> sorry my voice is still raspy um cause I don't want my couch smelling like too beautiful <laughs> too floral you know but I do want it to have somebody scent to it. Um, I'm going to put it on 60 because I want to definitely get all those germs out. Um, so I think I said that I was recording for days. Uh, three, four, five was just today. So six, seven, eight. Um, so I'm just going to finish up doing what I was doing on day five <laughs> which is um, finishing up with my washing stuff 